Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lights, Camel, Action 2, the sequin. It seems like only yesterday that we were gathered in this stable to celebrate the amazing events of that first Christmas. It's quickly become clear just how important the extraordinary birth of the baby Jesus is for all of us. So on what's become a bit of a Christmas tradition, we're back to take a fresh look at the story to end all stories. And to celebrate the incredible spread of that wonderful news. And to help us, we've been joined by a star-studded lineup of celebrities. Get ready for an evening of razzle and dazzle. Glitz and glamour, pizzazz and razzmatazz. But first, please give a big welcome to the three people whose opinions matter all the most. Your judges! He was a star in, he was a star dancer in last year's show, but he's returning this year as a star judge. One hump or two, put your hands together for Funky Camel. You can count on her, if you want to fall asleep, that is. It's the smallest sheep. And finally, he's the king with the swing, the ruler with the moolah. Please welcome back your favorite, and ours, Caesar. Well, we're going to kick off our show with a military possession tonight. They're the ones who delivered the decree that started it all. And they've taken a break from square bashing just to be with us this evening. Marching to their hit single, Get on the Road by Dawn, the Bethlehem Garrison of the Roman Legion. Wow, get a load of those uniforms. I agree. Let's see if it's made such a good impression on our judges. Well, as marches go, I'd say that's about as good as it gets. Smart, snappy and synchronised. What a way to open the show. Fabulous. And Caesar, what did you make of it? There was not a step out of place. I absolutely loved it, darlings. High praise indeed from Caesar. What did you think, Funky Camel? Could you dig it? I knew that you could. Okay, I think that means he likes it. What a great start to the show. Judges, can we have your scores, please? We all 
remember the terminal that the declaration of that census left. Absolutely. It was a pandemonium in my town. But as we know, for two people in particular, it was more than just inconvenient. We are so lucky to have Mary and Joseph with us this evening. Please give them a big hand, everyone. Joseph, I imagine everything was a bit frantic for you back then. Oh, it certainly was. Mary, my wife, was heavily pregnant when the soldiers announced Caesar's decree. And I was born here in Bethlehem, so I had to travel all the way here from Nazareth. It was really tough, to be honest. I was so worried. I was due to give birth any day. And we were just starting to get things nice for the baby. Yes, you'd made that lovely crib, do you remember? Oh, I certainly do. Some of my best work. He's only the best carpenter in Nazareth, you know. Well, I do take pride in my work. So if anyone wants some new chairs or door, it's a great service at a very reasonable price. See him after the show, folks. Well, I know we have a particularly special dance to show you later on. But for now, let's watch you and some of your old friends and neighbours from, Na from Nazareth put on their dancing shoes. Dancing the Hustle, the Nazareth Neighbours. I thought you made that look effortless, but let's find out what the people who really matter thought of it. Funky Camel, what did you think? Could you shake it? I knew that you could. I think we get your drift, Funky Camel. Caesar? The hustle is one of my favourite dancers, darlings. It's supposed to swing. I thought you made that look effortless, but let's find out what the people who really matter thought of it. Funky Camel, what did you think? Could you shake it? I knew that you could. I think we get your drift, Funky Camel. Caesar? The hustle is one of my favourite dances, darling. It's supposed to swing, but Joseph, you're a carpenter, and that was about as wooden as the things you make. Ooh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Smaller shape? What an old misery he is. I don't know anything about woodwork, but I know what I like, and I like what I see. Judges, can we have your scores, please?
As we all know, life here in Bethlehem can be pretty hectic. That's an understatement. Constant car traffic and noisy neighbours. But what's it like living outside the city? Our next guests are here to tell us what it's like living life at a more rural pace. Please welcome the shepherds and their sheep. Well then, shepherds, what's it like living up in those charming hills? All picnics and beautiful sunsets, I expect. It must be idyllic working with those lovely, fluffy sheep. What are you talking about? Lovely? Fluffy? Have you ever met a sheep before? They're a nightmare! She's right, you know. They run all over the place, up, down, left and right. It's a full-time job just keeping track of them. No discipline, that's their trouble. They just don't know when to stop running about. Yep, constant movement. That's the way of the sheep. So it sounds like you've chosen to perform us tonight might be a brave choice. Well, we like a challenge. And we have been practicing a lot. Last night we got three in a row. Well, if you're ready to start, we'll wish you the very best of luck. Thank you, and you can join in if you like. Dancing the conga, the shepherds and their sheep. start with you, smaller sheep. What did you think? Fabulous. You certainly captured the Latin character. Perhaps there could have been a little more movement in the hooves, but I just wish I'd been dancing with you. Congratulations. Do you agree with that, funky camel? Could you kick it? I knew that you could. And dare we ask what you thought, Caesar? I'm sorry, but that was dull, dull, dull. I've seen more exciting lines outside of the Bethlehem donkeys merchants. Judges, can we have your scores, please?
Well, the Romans weren't the only ones with a message to deliver. Were they smaller sheep? Oh, no. I remember sitting on a hillside, grazing, counting, sleeping, you know, sheep and shepherd kind of stuff, when all of a sudden the sky was filled with angels. It was beautiful. Hold that thought, smaller sheep, because we're about to revisit that amazing moment right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for Gabriel and his host of Heavenly Angels. <laughs> Dancing Gospel, the angel Gabriel and his heavenly host. Heavenly doesn't do them justice, does it, Caesar? Surely you're impressed by that. I'm absolutely speechless. Wonderful arguments and oodles of energy in the hands, literally out of this world. You couldn't ask for a better start than that. It takes a lot to make Caesar speechless. It took me right back, and you were every bit as dazzling as I remember. And Funky Camel, did you get the message? Could you tell it? I knew that you could. Well, it looks like it could be a high-scoring show tonight. Judges, can we have your scores, please? Dancers have crossed sandy dunes and desert wastes to be with us this evening. Please, well, please welcome the wise men and their camels. Wise men, kings, what do we call you? Well, you can just call me Balthazar. No, seriously, it really doesn't matter. We are kings and we are pretty wise. Really wise. Very, very wise. And technically, we're actually magi. But that sounds a bit stuffy, doesn't it? I'm Melchior. And I'm Casper. Okay. Balthazar, Melchior and Casper. 
I'm glad we've cleared that up. Why don't you tell us about the first time you made the journey to this stable? Well, we read a prophecy that a baby king would soon be born. We saw his star in the sky and we set out to worship him. Our journey was long and difficult. We couldn't have managed it without our camels. Especially as we were holding gold, frankincense and myrrh. And that's really heavy stuff. Gifts at Christmas. Now that sounds like a Christmas tradition that really could catch on. I think it's time to get those feet moving and those hooves are tapping. Dancing the Charleston, the three exceptionally wise men and their camels. Well, Funky Camel, you were a fan, I expect. Hot jazz. Could you swing it? I knew that you could. Smaller sheep. Those knobbly knees really work in the Charleston. There's only one word for it, camel-tastic. Caesar, are you a camel fan? No, darling, I'm not. You were fun to watch in a comic way. But the dancing was all over the place. Lumps and bumps and in all the wrong places. Judges, can we have your scores, please? <laughs> of course, when the wise men and their camels made this journey, they had some very special guidance. Everyone remembers the brilliant star that spread over this very stable on that extraordinary night. We're delighted to have that star here this evening and she has brought some of her friends to dance with her. Star of Bethlehem, you had an amazing view of the events that night. It's you all Shirley talks about nowadays. Oh, I remember it so clearly. I could see the wise men riding from the east. It was pretty amazing, to be fair. And down below, there was Mary riding a donkey. Alongside her was Joseph. They both looked so tired. They were desperate to find a place to stay. I shone as brightly as I could to help them find a, a, a space to set, stay, but all the inns were packed full. 
Eventually they found their way here and the innkeeper said the only space left he had was in the stable. It was shocking really, but I think they were just happy to find any space at all. Well, I know Mary and Joseph have been particularly looking forward to this dance. And now's your chance to shine for them again. Are you ready? We were born ready. Performing the Dance of the Stars, it's the Bethlehem All Stars. Well, I can't believe any of our judges will have a bad word to say about that. Smaller sheep. Funky camel, you'll agree, surely. And Caesar, you must have enjoyed that. Well, I can't believe any of our judges will have a bad word to say about that. Smaller sheep. Superb, sublime and scintillating. Nothing short of perfection. Funky camel, you agree, surely. Could you top it? I just knew you could not. And Caesar, you must have enjoyed that. One word, celestial. Judges, can we have your scores, please? So you stars kept watch all night, did you? We watched them arrive from all over the country. We followed the shepherds and their sheep. And we, fo and we followed the wise men and their camels. And that's the... And best of all, we watch baby Jesus get born in the stable. You know, we stars see a lot when we're shining in the heavens, but that night, we saw something truly amazing. And of course, that is the real reason we are all here tonight. We're almost at the end of our show, and we've had so much fun sharing this special story with you. So, join with us as we celebrate the birth of Jesus together and the hope and love he brings to us all. Dancing the Kali, please put your hands together for the cast of Lights, Camel, Action 2, The Sequin. <laughs>
for lots and lots of students, but as it turns out, there, is two there are two students per year level. So listen, see if your name is called out, and if it is, if you come up here and Mrs Elliot will give you your voucher. So we have here prep. So let's have up here Jimmy and Scarlett C. Scarlett's not here, but we'll make sure she gets it. Year one, we'd like to invite up here for the award this year, Evie and Taj. Year two, could Caleb and Leilani come up to the to us? Well done. Year three, Lockie Bell for an LED. Year four, Carter Bush and Chloe. Year five, Samara and Xander. Harrison and Aaliyah. So well done everyone. Thank you.